Hey guys, it's Jeff. Um, so today I'm going to do uh, a combination of glam bags together. I usually do one Ipsy glam bag and one separate video for glam box. Is it glam bag, glam box, whatever. One of the Ipsy subscription boxes. And then I do a second video for Lip Monthly. So I'm going to combine them this month and do one video because I don't know if I'll have time to do two videos and I don't want to let the month slip by and I mean I do it because there's no point in doing it. So I know lately I've only been doing the subscription box but there will be more videos to come soon I promise. I'm super excited about some stuff I'm working on so I will upload that as soon as I can. But let's get started. So I always get my Ipsy Glam bag late I feel like. I try to avoid looking at all of the like the Instagrams, um, the Facebook, what, whatever, the, the Ipsy because they will post People will start posting stuff, and I try to stay off of it because I genuinely want to be surprised, and I genuinely want to do it in front of the camera so you guys can see, you know, what it is. I just want to be totally surprised. So, let's start. So, I'm going to first start with um, with the Ipsy one, and it comes in this this pink thing right here. So, let's get started. It always comes in a cute pink, um, pink one, so it's exciting. Pink is my favorite color. I'm feeling very pink today, if you can't tell. So... Let's see, shall we? So, first thing first, it's really cute. Um, it comes with, let's see, it comes with, first of all, it's this cute, um, it's this cute, it's a little bit, it's definitely fall, and it's a little edgier, it's got the studs on it, so, and I always love how they have the little zipper says Ipsy, I don't know if you, if anyone has it on it, the little zipper says Ipsy on it, so, so cute. Okay, so let's start, and it comes with the, um, this little card, so, that fell out as well. So, um, and it looks like it's got a, definitely some super, super famous vloggers on there. I think I definitely know, um, Crispy, C-H-R, I hope I'm saying that right, C-H-R-I-S-P. I follow, I follow her on Instagram. She's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and she's super, she's definitely a little, got a little edge to her, but her makeup is always flawless. And, She's really pretty, and I follow her. So, there we go. So, she's on there, and she's everywhere now. So, I don't know who her publicist or agent is, but give me a call. Just kidding. Um, no, seriously. So, this is the card it came with, and it just tells you about um, uh, tips on uh, how to win a one-year subscription to Ipsy, which would be pretty awesome because the Ipsy bag is $10 a month. I think they run special sometimes where you get, like, the first one free or the first one half off. I'm not sure if they do that. But uh, they give you this thing on how to uh, win it. You... Um, take a pic of your bag, um, and you tag at Ipsy, hashtag Ipsy, hashtag street style for a chance to win one your subscription. So there's that. And then let's get started. So inside the edgy Ipsy bag of the month is, it actually smells really good. I know that sounds weird. It smells, it smells like a spa. Kind of like a Veda product. So we'll see. Okay. So let's see what's in here. Let's start first. So first thing that I'm grabbing, oh, cool. It's the, um... It's Pacifica, and it is a, um, definitely a fall color. It is a wine color. It's called, oh, it's red, red wine, so there you go. And it's like this. You can see it. It's great because I actually, um, I have a color similar to this, but I needed something new, uh, for the new, uh, for the fall. So there you go. And it's a great color. It looks really good on everyone, so. The next thing is, let's see, it is Mitchell and Peach English Growers Flora Number no. 1 Luxury Hand Cream. So, I wonder if that's, I think that's what I'm smelling. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm smelling. It smells so good. So, that is always good to have a little hand cream to keep with you. It's a good travel size. So, uh, next thing, oh, looks like it's another Nourish Organic Moisturizing face cleanser, cucumber, and watercress for all skin types. So that looks like this. I'm pretty excited to try it. I do like, and it says that it's fragrance-free, washes away, and periods without irritating or drying. So I'm always excited to try um, new face products. Um, I like that it's not scented. I'm not a huge fan of scented facial face wash. Face wash. Uh, for whatever reason, I'm just not a fan. So excited to try this. I'll let you guys know how that works. And the next thing. Oh, cute. It's Be A Bombshell Smooth Criminal Powder, which to me is a super cute name, but um, it looks like, I think I've seen this before, I'm not quite sure where, but 
This is a, um, it looks like it's just like a finishing powder. It's really, um, I don't want to say the word mineralized because I don't even know if that's the right word to use, but it's very like finely granulated. So it just goes on nice and smooth. I don't think it's supposed to be for coverage. I think it's more to like absorb oil, just more of like a setting um, finishing powder. I don't use a lot of powders, especially in the fall and winter, because I seem to get drier and then it looks kind of matte. I like to stay like hydrated looking. So, but I'm definitely going to give that a shot. I had one, I think it was on Makeup Forever. Don't know what happened to it, but I'm glad to have this. So, next thing um, is, looks like it is Hikari Cabernet. It's a lipstick, which is awesome because, judging by the name of Cabernet, it's probably, and I was right. <laughs> It's like a wine color, so it's very similar, I guess, to the, it kind of matches with the red wine. Oh, it's good fall. Great fall colors. I'm so excited about it. So, all in all, I love this slam bag. We got a lipstick. Uh, we got the nail color. We got the powder. We got the face wash and the hand cream. So, all great for fall. Love the bag this month. Super excited about it. So, let's move on to the Lip Monthly bag. Now, this is my third lip monthly I think and last month I did the video on lip monthly and it was um it was a decent box last month I don't know how much I'm trying to get situated I don't know how much longer I'm going to do lip monthly and um, hopefully this month will surprise me it's I don't want to say it's been blah it's been good because I I like all like getting all the different things um I've seen some people I've seen some decent reviews I've seen some bad reviews I've seen some people Oh my, look at this hair. Sorry, I've seen some people um, not really particularly care for it. So far, it's been okay, so we'll see. Um, let's take a look. So it comes in the white bag like this. Or white, yeah, I guess it's a bag. It comes in white packaging like this, and then it comes in, um, it, it came in the same, this same one, exact same one, came in the last month, this same bag. It used to come in a box. When I first got it, it was in like a little box. So it comes in the same bag, which is nice to always have like a little, I guess, a little the black bag. Okay, so let's see what's in there. So every month they also give you what's, it's like it tells exactly what's in it. It tells the price of it, um, things like that. They do like reward points and stuff like that. So it tells you, it's an explanation. Uh, the next thing in here is, it's by Pure Leaf and it looks like it is a Hydra Balance Moisturizer, so it's from normal to dry, and it's an anti-aging moisturizer. These are all, again, little sample face washes. These are great to get because that's how you know, you know, come on to a product, that's how you find something you really like. So, um, yeah, so eventually I'm going to do, once I get a couple more of these built up, I'm going to probably do a video on maybe products I've used that have, stand, you know, stood out more than other things like that. So we'll see. Next up is... It's so interesting. So, in this one, they gave me a coral um, nail polish, which is interesting because it is fall. So, whereas if she has, you know, is more on like the fall trend, this is coral now. It could be that coral. My hair is stuck. It's stuck. Um, it could be that coral maybe was on the runways. I don't know. I haven't read a fashion magazine in the past couple weeks. Not that I follow fashion magazines to a team or anything like that, but I don't know, it, it, coral could be like a color of the fall, which I usually associate with spring, but yeah, so we'll see. So that's awesome though. I'm always a sucker for nail polish, so it's a really pretty coral. Great to add to the collection. The next thing I see in here is, this is interesting, it is a pencil, it's a lip and eye liner with a built-in sharpener, it's retractable. Um, it's called, it, the color is Latte. What's interesting about this color is I probably would never wear this color on my eyes just because I like a really, really dark pencil or dark liquid eyeliner, just a dark eyeliner in general. Um, my favorite is the Urban Decay 24 7, which is a waterproof eyeliner, and I use it in the colors called Perversion because it is the blackest black I've found. Now, if anyone can find a blacker black, I would love that, but uh, for now, uh, that's my favorite eyeliner. I don't, I mean, I wear it almost every day. I do have other eyeliners, but that's my go-to everyday eyeliner. So, um, this right here, I'll definitely probably use, I'm going to try it on my lips. I don't have a lip liner of this color. Um, I'm interested to try it. I usually do like a nude, something with a little bit of pink in it. So, we'll definitely see. Maybe I'll wear this next video 
and tell you guys how it is. So we'll see. So that's so interesting. And it's got a little sharpener with it, which is really cool. I like eyeliners that have that. And then the next thing is Sheramoya. Okay, so this one, I forgot to tell you. So the name on this one is Sheramoya, right? This one is Sheramoya too, and this one is a lip crayon and coral. So I guess that's the color scheme they want with for this bag or this box, whatever you want to call it, is coral. Um, so they have the, and it's a lip, it's, it's a really cute packaging. You can see it, the font is cute, and then on the back side, it's got a little bow tie, which is really cute to me. I'm all about packaging, I'm kind of a sucker for packaging. That's one reason I was really drawn to Benefit Cosmetics, because of their packaging. So, um, the packaging is great on this, we'll see if the product is just as great as the packaging. And so, all in all, with Lip Monthly, you get a um, face wash, you get a an eyeliner slash lip liner, <laughs> you get a coral colored lip um, lipstick, and you get, oh wait, there's something else in there too. Didn't see this. Um, you get also a coral colored nail polish, of course. Then the last thing in there is, it's by Eco Lips, which has got a little marijuana leaf on it. I don't know if you, can you see that? So funny. So, Ecolips Hemp Organic Vanilla. So, um, yeah, it's pretty, um, pretty, it looks pretty self-explanatory. It says USDA Organic. Um, it's always good to have, you can never have enough chapsticks and lip protectants. Your lips are important. Um, I don't like wrinkly lips or dry lips. So, I have tons and tons and tons of chapstick, and this is one more to add to it. I love it. So, I'm excited about all in all, it was a good month for both of my fun glam boxes, glam bags. Um, I want to subscribe to more. I know that some of them can be a little pricey. Um, thought about doing Birchbox, don't really know, might do it, we'll see. Uh, it can get a little bit pricey. A lot of boxes are 10, some are 20. I think Julep is maybe 25 or 30. There, I think there might be two different tiers to it. But all in all, um, I love, love, love getting my stuff every month. Um, love my Ipsy bag. Um, the Lip Monthly is going well, too, so we'll see. And um, future videos coming up soon that I'm going to be doing because I'm in school right now and that's not an excuse. And I really like to vlog, and I kind of, when I don't vlog, I kind of miss it. Actually, I really miss it. So coming up for fall because I love long, luxurious hair. And please don't look at my hair today. It's gone a little bit flat because I'm on day two of not washing. So it will be washed in a couple hours. But I want to do a tutorial on do-it-yourself, make your own hair extensions. They sell a lot of hair extensions out there that are clip-ins. Of course, the ones I'm going to do are clip-ins. I have had, you know, infusions. I've had tape-in extensions. I've had different types of extensions. However, um, my favorite to me that um, is not damaging to your hair is definitely going to be the clip-in extensions, and I'm going to show you exactly how to make them. I actually made them for people when I was in beauty school and made a profit off of it. So, uh, yeah, it should be interesting. It's a little time-consuming, but um, if you're bored one night, uh, like I tend to get bored sometimes, uh, yeah, it'll be a fun, it'll be a fun little project, and you'll have long, luxurious locks. So we will, and I'll take you to the store when I buy my extensions, so you can come with me, and I'll show you which ones to get and which ones not to get. So that will be coming up soon along with a few other videos that I have in mind. So uh, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.